And now we're joined on the weekly show of the week by our economics correspondent, a multi-millionaire, a serial startup company entrepreneur, no. investor, and business specialist, Mr. Stephen Ruggles. Welcome, Stephen. Oh, hello. Hello. It's great to be here. Welcome yourself out. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm brilliant, Stephen. Thank you. Um, so, Stephen, you yes. are, you are here today to talk about your current business plans, mm -hmm. your ventures, uh, your future plans, and you're going to give some advice for all those people out there that are trying to set up their own business. That is absolutely correct. Well, I am truly excited by this 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 opportunity we have. And before you go into your business ideas, no. um, I want to hear a bit more about you and where it all began for you, the uh, the famous brewery you set up. Oh, well, yes, the brewery. The, the funny thing is, Ed, before the brewery, I actually made my money investment banking. Investment banking? The, well, yes, it's basically a, a company that I had initiated in which we took people's vestments and articles and we stored them next to a river for them. And then we charged them money to remove their vestments from the bank. <laughs> and I used that money from the investment banking to then buy a brewery. <laughs> and yeah. with that, I mailed a lot of products on lager bills, um, sardos, ipers, stouts, uh, wands, and, uh, what was vinegars. The vinegars. What, what was the name of the brewery? Well, we we called the brewery uh, the Sneaky Dickens Brewery. Sneaky Dickens Brewery. The Dickens, as in Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, yes. okay. Sneaky Dickens Brewery. And what's, uh, what's the thoughts behind that name? Well, not only does it roll off the tongue, I think that um, we had a lot of influence from an early investor, Mr. Richard Ends. And he, um, he sampled all of our products, he seemed very interested. And then he withdrew from the investment process. So we decided he was very sneaky man, <laughs> okay. Richard. So we called it uh, Dick, the Dickens after Charles Dickens. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, 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 and I remember, I remember back in the day, uh, I, I had one of your famous ciders. That was the flagship, oh, flagship one, wasn't it? Oh, it was a lovely cider. It, it had some spices in, did it? Well, we did um, the the original, the flagship, which was just a Snooky Dickens cider, and then we also tried to navigate the market with incorporating various spices into our ciders. We had um, a paprika cider, and we also had a lime and oregano cider. But the one that really quenched the first, I think, of the cider-loving public was, in fact, um, the, the Cuban cider. Okay, so that, that, that's, that is interesting. Yeah. Well, I remember having that. Um, so let's move on. Okay. For you to tell us a bit more about your, you know, your current business ideas, your, your current ventures, what are you doing at the moment? Well, I just, I want to give you a brief overview of some of the projects and innovative thinking that's currently going on in the business industry. And as a, an angel investor, I think I have a good opportunity to tell you about where the market is at. Now, the first uh, and most recent thing I want to talk about is uh, an idea that's called coffertine. 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 And essentially, what we do in the coffee bean growing process, we impregnate the coffee beans with caffeine. <laughs> and what it does is it creates a highly addictive, yet very tasty drug. Okay, so it's... Mouth-watering. You'd say it's a mixture of coffee... And yes. nicotine. And we are, we are using it as a smoking substitute. <laughs> okay, it's smoky. You don't drink it. Oh, uh, no, no, you do smoke it. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. We have actually looked into that, but it's highly cancerous. <laughs> okay. But um, yes, you drink it, and it's a cigarette replacement drink. However, the initial trials have been extraordinarily negative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that sounds like a, a winner. I'd be interested to try that. Um, another business idea that we have 
as we are trying to grow through genetic modification, a tree that actually grows money. Okay. <laughs> and uh, to be honest with you, we're actually getting there slowly. We're currently at a point where we have a tree that can be made into paper. <laughs> And we've also managed to grow uh, some shrubbery items, bushes, for example, that grow coins. So that's really getting somewhere. <laughs> but the big issue is really the, the coins are made of chocolate. So <laughs> okay. we're struggling to get a return on it. That, was that a cocoa shrubbery bush? Uh, no, they are, they are Christmas chocolate coins <laughs> in the foil wrapper. It's quite astonishing. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, a further idea that we're currently developing and is actually causing a lot of legal issues is a shop, but um, there are no products in the shop. And what you have, Ed, is a catalogue of thousands, literally a thousand <laughs> products. And you order from the catalogue in the shop and then we bring it to you. <laughs> okay. Brand new idea. Revolutionary. I don't... I don't think that anyone has ever thought that that is a, an idea that it could turn into a business. No. I'm but we have done it. Well, Argos, here we come. Well, funny you should say that, actually. We are, there's a company called Argos, and we're trying to buy their domain off them. <laughs> and it's causing a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Um, another, <laughs> another business that we have is Shushi. Sushi? No, sushi. Sushi? And basically, it's a shoe cleaning service, but you, if you get your shoes cleaned, you maybe package, want some sushi, and we deliver sushi as you get your shoes cleaned. Sashimi, wasabi. <laughs> Brilliant. I will... <laughs> how is it served? Just just on a, on a platter? Um. Well, actually, no. We have a waiter that feeds you Personally, with his heart. <laughs> okay, whilst cleaning, left hand cleaning, right hand feeding. <laughs> well, very good idea, Ed. <laughs> Thank you. We haven't actually considered that, but that is very good idea. <laughs> um, while we're on the subject of food, another, this, and this has really taken the market by storm. It's called One Pound Fish. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very cheap. Six for five pound, one pound fish. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm a vegetarian now, so I can't eat that. But the value add, I mean, as a gift, for example, a one pound fish. <laughs> also, we're the, this is the more innovative end of the industry now, and I've got my research and development team all over this. We have square hoops. Square hoops? Yes. You know the... Um, that hoop that children play with and spin around their waves. Oh, yeah. We are currently developing a square hoop. And does that work the same? Absolutely. It works perfectly, but the aesthetic approach is just fantastic. We are developing triangular hoops <laughs> and also pentagonal hoops with outstanding results. Brilliant. I can't wait to see those in the shops. Well, well no. And actually, talking of shops, we have a product that's just hit uh, Tesco, I think. Or I should have said brand names, so we can out of that art. But uh, it's <laughs> called brown toilet paper. <laughs> so you don't know where you're at. It's 100% recycled. <laughs> and the idea is, if you have a toilet that doesn't flush particularly well, you can leave the toilet tissue in there and no one will say that it is soiled if it doesn't flush. <laughs> so that's, brown, that's, uh, that's pretty much all of them, all my business ventures. Okay, um, there's, one, there's one that I uh, have heard of before yes. that you were developing. It's called the, the Home Exercise and Weight Loss System. Oh, well, yeah. It's Stephen's Home Exercise and Weight Loss System. And essentially, Ed, it is a system that we implement all of your house. We put it all over. And it is treadmills and conveyors all over the floor. Yep. So if you try to leave, for example, your house, the treadmill works against 
menstrual, I do exercise. <laughs> I do lose weight. While you're on the toilet, you're exercising. <laughs> you have to stand up. And you have to stand at a slow paced jog. <laughs> even, even both forms of going to the toilet. Oh, yes. I mean, it's, it's you know, you want to lose weight. <laughs> what about, what about the in the shower? Uh, yes, in the shower, you are, you are walking, you are exercising, uh, things come at you, you have to jump, you have to duck. It's very, very easy way to lose weight. However, a big problem with this is that people have been using it to travel around their home. <laughs> and in fact, they have been gaining weight, and we have killed a few people. <laughs> Just a few. Oh. Um, Anna, have you got anything else you want to tell us about? Um, well, you know, it is a festive season, and we are currently starting a new project where it's a dinner and dance, you know, Christmas party, but for self-employed people. You know, normally they don't get to go to dinner. And dance. <laughs> okay. Everything's provided, the food, there's a DJ, <laughs> black tar event, uh, but only for the people that work there. No wives, girlfriends, none of this. Oh, really? But for the self-employed man. Just for the self-employed man? There's yeah. just going to be a lot of men in a room? No, no, no. Just his company. Just his company? So he goes on his own. Oh. They don't dance. <laughs> and we're getting great feedback. Brilliant. Yes. That sounds fabulous. Well, thank you very much for coming in, Stephen. Thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure. I hope that the listeners out there have gained, gained something from what you've said today. Thank you. I certainly have. And I'll be sure to see your products on the shelf soon. Thank you. Goodbye. (laughs) Thank you very much.